Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Delfina Vasquez with the, I want to get this, Selma Community Outreach Ministries. That Got is that correct. Right? Yes, sir. Delfina, thank you thank for being you. on today. And you know... What you were talking to me about before we came on camera, you you got some really great stuff going. So let, first off, let's talk, how did you get into this? Well, it was actually a calling from the Lord. It was a complete, total calling from the Lord. Um, I, he sent me to a retreat uh -huh. in Shaver Lake, yeah. and I was debating with them, Lord, do you really want me to feed the homeless? Mm -hmm. And um, so I asked him to give me a, a sign. Yeah. You know, I thought I would, could make a deal with the Lord. <laughs> I didn't really think he was going to answer it, yeah. though. Uh, but he did. Have, you, know, you know, we were lucky. Scavenger hunt. Yeah. And um, we were doing the scavenger hunt. The last thing on that list was a feather. And none of us could find a feather yeah. after hours of searching. Right. And all of a sudden, the ladies got tired and went back to the room. And I kept walking with the Lord and talking with them. And I said, you know, Lord, if you just give me a feather, I'll know that... I'm not tripping. You're mm -hmm. really wanting me to do this. Right. And before I could even say it, the feather it was a beautiful blue feather at my feet. There you go. So I was all in at that so point. So you got called. That's it. Yeah. It was all a right. calling. So you started feeding the homeless out of the back of your car. I did. Yeah. In 2014, uh, we would just uh, make potatoes with eggs or some burritos or pancakes, whatever I could right. stretch out. And uh, with the help of some ministries that would began to donate as mm -hmm. they saw what I was doing, and um, so we started that, building that relationship with the homeless. Now, now, Delfina, that was in 2014. Yes. We're now five years down the line, and you're still doing it. Yes. Very successfully. Yes. And you recently received kind of a, a greater calling, didn't you? I did. Yeah? I did. The Lord placed it in our heart to uh, not just run this ministry as a handout, but a hand up. Uh -huh. In other words, to provide resources that we could help our our brothers and sisters who are homeless. Or, right. You know, we all need a hand up at some point. You, and you, oftentimes people think, well, you know, if we just give our homeless, just give to them. And, and I'm not saying that that's not important. It is. But oftentimes, the, if if there's just some way that they can kind of find a little more help for themselves, for their Correct. own personal self-image, and you know, and your ministry, you're you're now providing showers. Yes. Yeah? So in 2017, the Lord laid it in my heart okay. to uh, begin a shower ministry for the homeless. Uh -huh. So we uh, purchased an RV, right. and we had three showers put into it. So it's uh -huh. a travel shower ministry, which is really cool. That's awesome. Yes. And very unique, too. Yes, yeah. yes. And it's actually also an emergency shelter. So it's got all the anemones if we need to put a mother and a child in there. Oh. So we could use it for both. Okay. Um, and we started this, We've I think we've run now uh, six showers. Yeah. Because so we're doing it once a week right uh -huh. now. And um, so this gives our homeless an opportunity uh, to get cleaned up. You can't even look for a job. How do you even apply for a job? Yeah. No. You can't. So, you know, like, again, we're helping them physically get their image, self-image together. Yes. Psychologically, we're, we're empowering them because if you, if you look better, you feel, feel better. better. And when you feel better, you know, not only feel better physically, but you feel better mentally. Exactly. And then on top of that, we're helping them spiritually. Exactly. That's actually our mission, yeah. to meet the physical, spiritual, and needs uh, of the of our homeless brothers and sisters and even the community that right. out there that has a need. And this is in Selma? It is. What a gift to Selma. Yes. This is great. We're the only showers that are provided in Selma right uh -huh. now. We're very proud of that, yeah. um, that we're able to do that. But it was a community effort yeah. in order to raise these funds. It mm -hmm. took a lot of uh, people to come together, and a lot of people came together in Selma including the healthcare district, which right. gave us a, a grant as well to help us pay for these showers. Um, and we sold a lot of plates, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of plates to make it happen. Yeah. But we are there. The showers are running. Uh -huh. We also provide clean clothing for them. Uh -huh. uh, we a provide meal, warm meal, a warm meal. So showers, clo clean clothing and a warm meal. Yes. And a real hand up. What we do is we connect them to resources mm -hmm. like for instance teen challenge if right. they want to get into a program that's uh, that's awesome i had someone on the show last week from from teen challenge yes yeah. john i saw yes, that it was. yeah yes what an awesome program that yes. they've got you know I, where they're i think they're home in reedley is that where I think yes said? but they're you know um 
They're going to be. They're going to be the the last weekend. I think they are at the Fresno Fair, but yeah. the last weekend, October twelfth and thirteenth yeah. for Arise. Right, and the Fresno Fair is going going to give free admission to the people going to their exactly yeah. exactly. It, Teen Challenge awesome. is an amazing program, and they so we you're connected together. with them. Yes, you know? yes, we work together with Teen Challenge and other organizations that do. A free rehabilitation mm -hmm. to those in need. So we try to stay connected to all of those resources so that when they're ready, we can say, here you go, let's do this you together. Know, Delphine, it's a I, soft I, handoff. I, yeah, I get, you know, I get the feel. You got, you got a lot of going, going, a lot of energy going for you, a lot of good going for you. This is awesome. Yes. Thank you for what you're doing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I am very pleased. And, and, you know, thank you because, truthfully, with because of organizations like this, we're able to get the word out into the mm -hmm. community and, and mm -hmm. uh, spread. Because we know everybody wants to help. Sometimes they just don't know how. That's right. So yeah. we get the word out. But what about being able to find you? You have a Facebook page. I do. Yeah. It's under Delfina Vasquez. Right. And that's V-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z. And we and can get information there. Yes, and we'll always post the information for the showers out there. Um, we also are right now doing a call out for blankets because, okay. as you know, it's starting yeah, it's, to get you're cold. Getting to winter, it's cold. Right. We so, give them a, a clean change of clothes mm -hmm. every time, um, but we are now because of the weather. Are you yeah. needing some blankets and jackets? You betcha. Yeah. Uh, do you have a phone number also, Delphine? I do. It is 559-836-8165. Awesome. Thank you for being Thank on the so show. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. If you happen to be down the Selma way, uh, you know, what an awesome thing, and you can be a part of it. Get a hold of her. And, and again, the name of your organization? Selma Community Outreach Ministry. There you go. Selma Community Outreach Ministry. Selma C-O-M. There you go. That's right. And I'll see you when we come back. Thank you.